Okay, America is invading Canada. I was about to blame Donald for this, but you know. Oh, look who's there! Money, 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 motherfuckers! Wait a second. Rex Tillerson? Which Tillerson? And hello everyone, it's me, Iron Auburn, and today we'll be doing another AI only. And if I'm doing an AI only, don't call me Drew Dornil in the fucking comments or I'm gonna fucking rape you! Okay guys, I'm just joking, but what we are doing today, we are playing the modern day 4 mod, or we are gonna watch the modern day 4 mod with the battle royale mod, so we'll see who's gonna win in this world, who's gonna lead the world to its glory, or lead the world to its destruction. Is it gonna be Kosovo, Novorossiya, ISIS, or the fucking Transnistrian Republic, whatever the fuck it is. But yeah, there's a chance also that United States, Russia, China, Japan, Germany, France, Britain, or maybe Italy can do something. Oh. Oh, there the wars go. Let's fucking go. Oh my fucking god. Ah, I blame all this shit on Pope. He was supposed to keep this world at peace. Remember I was talking about Transnistria? And I'm actually not joking. They're taking over Moldova. Well, we can see the Serbs invading Serbia. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh, now the Albanians are rushing in. They want to take Kosovo before the Serbs do. This is looking pretty interesting. Oh, shit. France actually managed to take Luxembourg. I would have never believed that. I don't even want to know what the fuck is happening around Afghanistan. Okay, America is invading Canada. I was about to blame Donald for this, but you know. Oh, Kosovo is gone. Well, you know what's actually pretty interesting? Novorossiya is not even at war with anybody. They're just peaceful there. Mongolia is trying to revive its dreams and conquer China, but I doubt it will work out for you, fat man! Oh, guess who are fighting again? Sweden and Denmark, as always. The best friends forever. Okay, Croatia is having a struggle here. It's being split by Hungary and Bosnia. Okay, the kebabs are taking Taking, uh, oh my god, they've taken Bulgaria, now they're fighting the Serbs. Serbia, will you be able to remove kebab? I doubt you will be able to remove kebab. Well, Russia is taking a visit into the Baltics and I guess Putin is having fun rolling with his tanks here. Oh, we can finally see Maduro succeeding at least in something. He can't fix his economy, but he can fight Guyana. What the fuck, Theresa May looks nothing like this. Ooh, why this leader looks so hot? She's actually old as fuck and ugly as fuck in real life. Who the fuck is this leading Norway? Please, no! Hungary, what the fuck did you eat? What did you drink, Orban? What's happening to you? What the fuck? Oh, the Greeks are taking out uh, the Albanians in our last uh, AI only in the Millennium Dog mod. Greece did very well and they nearly restored the Byzantine. Let's see what's gonna happen in this mod. Okay, Denmark is getting shit creaked by the Germans. Oh, look who's there! Money, 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 motherfuckers! Wait a second. Rex Tillerson? Which Tillerson? Wait, NSA, FBI, CIA, don't fucking rape me, but ISIS is doing actually pretty well, and they are killing their enemies all over the Middle East. Wait a second, fucking Ireland is kicking the ass of the United Kingdom. Britain is failing. Oh no, our little Transnistria is about to die to the Ukrainian army. Well, as we can see, the Turks are fighting for Belgrade, but the Serbs are trying to defend. Finland and Norway are stuck in a never-ending war. This is like World War One all over again. Oh my god, the Turks are doing super well. Now there's actually two little empires. Actually, they're pretty big. Romania versus Turkey. This is gonna be an interesting war for all of the Balkans. Okay, Belarus is gonna get gangbanged by Poland and Ukraine right now. Okay, look at this hype shit. Australia is actually trying to do something in this game. Invade the Solomon Islands. Oh my god, this leader, what the fuck? Oh no! Okay, the Germans are hungry for those drugs. Just like in World War II, they are rolling to Amsterdam. Okay, the Greeks are also fighting Romania. Ooh, we have an interesting country here. Nicaragua is actually eating the Central American countries away pretty fast. Oh, Sweden is here to help Finland and they are invading Norway. And here we can see the Turks trying to take a shit ton of land from Europe and it's working pretty well. Both Chinese and the Indian army are failing to take Nepal. Fucking Nepal. Look at this. 
ISIS is not losing a single battle. Ignore this encirclement, that's anti-ISIS propaganda. <laughs> anti-ISIS propaganda, what the fuck am I talking about? Oh, Trump is doing his wet dream. Okay, now we have an interesting one. Spain is fighting France and Spain is doing pretty well so far. Guys, is it just me or Ukraine always tends to create this fucking dick? Remember my last video? I gotta say, skidaddle skadoodle, Ukraine's dick is now noodle. Okay, the United Kingdom actually took Ireland, finally. And now, the British army is planning another D-Day. Oh shit, history tends to repeat itself. Germany is repeating Anschluss right now. Okay, so, we have a winner in the Turkish-Romanian war. It's Turkey, and Turkey is now fighting Italy, so we might see the Turks take over Italy. Oh shit, now we have an interesting one. Poland declared war on Germany, so we have Germany versus Poland. Where have I seen this before? The mo most interesting war, in my opinion right now, is the Turkish-Italian war. If the Turks manage to push into Italy, it might be over. I'm not even kidding right now, but it might be Poland who is gonna take Berlin. Just because the German army is busy fighting the Austrians. No, Russia is invading my homeland. Fuck you. Yeah, Poland took Berlin. Um, France is having... A ton of problems. It has a Spain invading them from the south. It is a Britain landing all over their country. Oh my god, Germany is just so dead. Even Ukraine is now fighting them after Austria and Poland is just pushing and continuing taking cities from Germany. Oh, Sweden is fighting the Russians now and it's pretty clear that Sweden is gonna lose this one. Just look at ISIS, they are just going through the fucking desert and killing people. Oh my god, we can see the Turks taking over Italy. This is not good for Christianity, is it? France is just about to capitulate, Spain took Paris, so France should be down very soon. Okay, France is out, now even Spain declared war on Germany, there is no way Germany is surviving this attack from Ukraine, Poland and Spain. Oh my god, Italy is down, now even Turkey declared war on Germany. Germany seems to be doomed. Russia declared war on Germany. Okay, Sweden is out, the Russians took Sweden, and now pretty much everybody is at war with Germany. Okay, Mexico is gone, and Trump has just repealed Obamacare, so I'm pretty sure Trump is very happy with what he has done. Okay, now Germany is out of the game, so Ukraine is at war with Poland, this is a pretty big war for Europe. And Russia is at war with Poland also, so it might be Poland who is getting knocked out of this game next. Turkey is at war with Spain, this is an interesting one also. Yep, it's, it's Spain's time to fall, they are at war with UK also, they cannot handle Turkey and UK at the same time. Yeah, Poland is just getting steamrolled by the Russians though, so yeah, Poland is about to die. Well, Poland is pretty much Turkey now, no idea why it's Turkey, but yeah. The Russians are killing Novorossiya, their own little friend. Okay, Russia declared war on Ukraine. This is a major war for Europe. Very, very major war. Russia is just blitzkrieging Ukraine right now. Turkey is about to make Spain capitulate, so this is gonna be a pretty interesting peace deal if we could even see something here. Yup, Spain is gone. Look at the size of Turkey, it's insane. Now Turkey is fighting United Kingdom. Okay, Ukraine has capitulated, Russia declared war on Greece. Oh, that's an interesting one, Russia declared war on Turkey, so Turkey is fighting Greece, Russia is fighting Turkey. This is a war basically for all of Europe, so the one who's gonna win this is gonna get most of the European lands. Okay, Greece is gone, so now this is full Turkey versus Russia war. And we can see that the Russians are doing a little bit better because they have already split Turkey into two. China and Australia are at war, but China has some serious plans to take Australia, like what the fuck? Australia isn't ready for this, they weren't even ready for the Emu war. Turkey is 98% watch capitulation, so Turkey should capitulate very soon. Okay, so Turkey has capitulated 
and Russia has declared war on the United Kingdom which is very weak right now. So guys I think we're gonna end around here because the game is pretty much over and pretty much played the fuck out of. We've already rolled over two years into the game and it's, it's lagging as fuck so um who won this game? I think you can decide. I would say for, for myself that it was the United States or the Russians but other countries did well too, there's China, there's India, so it's probably between Russia or the United States, so let's take a comparison actually. Russia 125 military factories, 252 civilian factories, 5.7 million manpower. United States, oh let's take a look, we need to see Donald. Okay, 129 military factories and 300 civilian uh, factories but less manpower. They are nearly uh, the same, so I would announce the United States and the Russian Federation as the winners of this game. Guys, if you're from Russia or the US, congratulations, and if your country died like mine in this game, let's go cry in a corner together, and don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. So, thank you everybody for watching, it was me, Iron Operan, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next video or a live stream. See you later guys.